Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone out there is doing well. My name is Mike and we're about to get right back into the fall of the House of Usher 2023. We are halfway through this show so far. I've seen four episodes. Let's just recap where we left off. So last thing I saw was episode four, The Black Cat. We saw Leo. He went out. Before that, we saw Camille go out. Leo, he had a kind of a psychological horror kind of episode. Uh, the cat was never really there, um, which is kind of different than at least with uh, Camille and um, even Prospero because for Camille she died to the monkey and the monkey was really there. When Prospero died it was uh, more of a, uh, a substance that killed people so you know that substance the acid was really there and yeah for, for Leo's death the cat was never there so um, that was kind of a different approach. We're kind of seeing more of Carla Gugino's character's I guess you could say motivation for doing what she's doing. To me, it looks like, especially in the last episode we saw, episode four, to me it seems she was wronged in the past and she's kind of haunting the Usher family now. I I feel like it has something to do with when Madeline and Roderick were younger, when they were in that bar. So still waiting to see what's going to go, what's going to happen with that. But I'm super excited because I've mentioned this before. But uh, the next episode we're going to be watching is The Telltale Heart, and that is my uh, favorite Edgar Allan Poe story. So this is probably going to be, uh, man, what's her name? I keep forgetting. Victoria. Victorine? That's her name? Uh, it's probably going to be her story. So, uh, oh yeah, it says it there. Victorine. So here we are, guys. Get a drink or a snack. Let's do this. I got a coffee, and I even got this weird uh, chocolate strawberry covered rice crispy treat thing so yeah get a drink or a snack let's do this telltale heart follow the house of usher hey this is uh, the doobie brothers listen to the music Hey, they're in the bar. Growing up, my mom used to tell us that ravens were the minions of Satan. They're not considered bad omens in every culture. A lot of people believe ravens bring good fortune. I'm sure I want to know my fortune. Oh, my. See how your line splits here? Your life will take a complete change of course tonight. Okay, now I'm not so sure if she was already a supernatural being back then, too. Look, she has like a knowing, knowing kind of look, a knowing smile, man. I don't know. I thought... It's your turn? Yeah, like I said, I thought whatever resulted this night, they'd end up killing her because she knew too much or something about them. But she seems like she already knows way more than she should. I don't know, man. I don't really feel like dancing. It's not about dancing, it's about being seen. God, he's got you to call the shots. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing but a compliment. Women are the natural leaders of the species. Ancient Egypt had it right. Can you decide on your resolution? You already asked us that. Change the world. If you could be either rich or famous, which... Rich. Okay, you're rich. What now? Never let a man have power over me and I figure out how to live forever. Your wish is granted. Or is it? Whoa. What? Cheers to you, Cleopatra. You always had a way with the ladies, but you seemed happily married when I met you. What went wrong? Doesn't matter now. That when it started? You're not at home with Annabelle Lee. You're locking lips with some other woman at a bar. Had to. Why? I'll get to that. Yeah, I... My theories are out the door now. I don't know. You said this is your confession. Confess. Well, I have been. Sort of. And their will shall overshadow thee. Is that the best picture of Prospero they could find? Is that the best picture of Leo they could find? Without being. 
Who are they? The mothers. Hmm. Now, our visions mm. never to vanish. Why, why is he seeing Prospero the most? Drops from the grass. Is that Jester? Yeah, there is a Jester involved in the story, isn't there? Wasn't it a Jester named Fortunato too or something? Say, this is a very difficult moment for me. Please respect my privacy at this time. Man, oh, what's he going through too, you know? He, what he witnessed. One of them didn't even want to look at him. Oh god. Take my I'm fine. Definitely less uh, jump scares than the rest of the shows in this. Want a drink? No bartender? F no bartender, this is a private conversation. Nothing for them, they're on duty. Oh, this is Tony. Tony, this is who's left. He isn't being forthcoming. It protects us from what exactly? Leo jumped, Julia saw the whole thing. She was high as f not battling some corporate assassin. So dad's overreacting? This is not dad, this is Aunt Mad. But for real? There are three of us left. Half of us. We have to pull together now, don't we? She might be right. Do you remember when they showed up? Remember when you showed up? God, how annoyed we were. Drugs, fame, we're spending, all of it. You have the same hole, Vic. I don't know if you see it, but you have it too. Camille tried to fill hers with information, Perry tried to fill it with anything, really, and Leo tried to fill his dad hole with the love of his fans. Dad hole. You two never had to worry about it. Original OG kids. I don't want to hear how hard it was being stuck in the same house as the legendary Annabel Lee. Only one he ever thought to marry. Juno. Mm. Nope. You don't talk about the junkie to me. He dove off of her mother into a sea of strange pussy, and we have been meeting the fruits of that ever since. Well, we know there are three more coming to take their place. Yeah, who's to say there's not more? Come on, he throws us the food and watches us fight for it. Especially us. You seem to be very just fine. Yeah, Dad really loves the uh, heart squeezer. How goes it for your homie at hipster subscription boxes? Let me know when Gwyneth bends you over and takes on dry with her legal team. Didn't Camille have her face ripped off by one of your flying monkeys? Chimps. You're talking about the death of one of your siblings so callously. Camille dug up on you before she died. <sighs> he got me. I'm kidding the ashes one by one. Okie dokie. I thought we were gonna be toasting our dead siblings or something. Oh, f*** off, Frederick. Madeleine. You two, you're just like Dad and Mads. Trying to get me to, to break through, so what? You can knock me down. Don't need to break through, because I'm going over the top. Hmm. You know, them two being the two actual siblings to each other, like the same mom and dad, they don't really show any compassion. Not even to each other, really. Am I your daughter? <sighs> two blinks. She said yes. Her blood ox levels are looking much better, given the damage structure to her ring lung, but she'll need to remain on oxygen. <laughs> I'm gonna take her home. I think Maury's excited to talk to her. No, I mean Maury. Still got a long road to hoe. A long road to hoe? Who says that? Most patients in her condition remain in intensive care for 40 to 80 days. Most patients in her condition are not industry royalty. She's incredibly fragile. She has zero physical defense. She has the entire arsenal of, of the Usher family. Are you mistaking me for a civilian? I'm not a fucking civilian. You think I don't know what I'm talking about? You play your cards right and don't piss me off. Maybe I'll hire you on. Honey, we can get through this. We can do it. Don't you want to come home? Why does he want her home, though? It doesn't seem like it's for a good reason. Pull out now. On the day I buried three of my- Well, I'm sorry I didn't know about the fucking surgery until tonight. Oh. Who's the candidate? We're supposed to be partners in this. I haven't even vetted the candidate. Look, she's one of yours. Doesn't matter because we're not ready, Victorine. Do you remember this? Yeah. Man, they're dropping the jams in this episode. That's our prototype. No, maybe it's our beginning. It works. Oh, no, it works. It's not that. You know what else it is?
$200 million of Roderick Astor's money, and for some reason, he won't see it right now. There's no way you could have gotten clearance for this. I didn't. Oh, no. No, 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 okay. no, no, Ow. no, no, they, no, you... You didn't. It's not like no, that. No, tell Ow. me my signature isn't on falsified data. The re falsified reports! Oh, hey. f***ing, dummy, a f***ing child! Ugh. How do you think this industry works? It is, it is hard enough. As a woman, you should know it is infinitely harder. You sang a different tune when that money, what an asshole money, came rolling into your clinic. Yeah, I think I'm out. What do you mean, out? Wait, out of... out of us? You're not gonna say anything out of the NDA? It doesn't cover illegal activity, so... Oh, yes, it most certainly f***ing does. That is a pin special. And you signed it, and I'm telling... I'm asking you. Yeah, come in with that uh, softer side. Please. That's not gonna work now. Don't do this. They would just rip you apart to pieces. Oh, they will win. Okay, please. It's too late. You're not who I thought you were. Exactly. I was just thinking your mask already slipped. She's been good at hiding who she is, but not now. Goodbye, Vic. You're not going to tell anyone. Of course I'm gonna tell. And I don't f***ing care if you sue me or you rip me apart. You ushers. I really didn't want to think it, but you're all fucking monsters. Is she gonna attack her? Ah! Oh god. I, it's me again. Did she? Look, I'm. Oh man. If she did that, then yeah, this is. I feel like this episode will follow the same, you know, of what happened in the Telltale Heart, and that they killed the guy, and then the ghost. Uh, it, it, he psychologically haunted uh, the, the main character. So I guess we're going to see what's going to happen here. I think that's the case. She's going to be either literally haunted or psychologically haunted. We'll see. I am sorry. Okay, please just call me back. This is my third message, B. Don't do me like this. Please. <sighs> What's that noise? Oh, it's that device. That's what we heard at the beginning of the episode too, huh? The telltale heart. We can work this out. Just this is my this is my third message. Okay, I feel like that's she's just doing that for cover, and she did kill her. I had to go back and watch that part because I was like, no, that doesn't seem right. I feel like she did kill her, and she's just doing those messages to cover her ass. Oh. I didn't like the way the camera panned up to that. Thought we were gonna see something there. Scary. Uh oh. Oh my! You didn't take up smoking, did you? Oh. It's just chirping. It's weird. Sorry. I'm just making the rounds, seeing if anything unusual is happening. Do you hear that? Your delightful rumor. You're moving forward with human trials. Can I ask why you're interested in the arrest all of a sudden? I'm now taking an interest. It's important. Maybe the most important thing right now. Tell me why. <laughs> Tell me why. Special human study on a candidate that will surprise you. Do you understand? Yes, but I'm psychologically hearing a heart. Whilst I appreciate your sudden and not at all alarming interest in the arrest, so don't you have bigger fish to fry? Like what? Aren't you still on trial? Not for much longer. Hmm. Can I ask you something, man to man, Arthur? Yes, August. You're a smart man. You could be anywhere doing anything. You know what they are. Why do you do this? I wouldn't be where I am today without Roder Gusher. Neither would you, by the way. Apologies for the wait, gentlemen. He plays such a simple character, uh, Mark Hamill. But it's just so... 
I every time he's on screen, I just enjoy it thoroughly. Just the voice and everything. Here during my lunch hour to discuss the recent tragedies and Mr. Pym's motion for a continuance. Mr. Depan insinuated early on that there was an informant. We believe the family is under attack. These deaths were accidental. Wouldn't have thought counsel would be this opportunistic, but just what is he implying? Three dead bodies in a week, Mr. Dupin. And how it's related to Mr. Dupin's informant. I'm sorry, who said it's related? How can we know it isn't? You won't disclose. For their safety. Your Honor, this is bullshit. This family has repeatedly managed to evade prosecution. No matter how many bodies they pile up, they always slip through the cracks. It's almost supernatural, Your Honor. And you're going to let them do it again. I'm going to go ahead and assume that you're not intending to apply what you're implying. Yeah, and you made him play his hand too hard. We can avoid a continuance. Mr. Dupin can help us cut through this mess. By disclosing. He identifies his informant. So who was it, by the way? Doesn't possibly matter now, Augie. Why should it have been none of them? I get why you didn't answer that day, but now, Hoggy, it's done. It's all over. He finally took a sip. Ooh, there goes, like, half a salary. There was never an informant. I knew it! Oh, I'm impressed. Come on. There's no ethics whatsoever to your defense, and I'm supposed to run my case by the book. One time, I play your way. Relax. It was good. This was would have been a fun one. <laughs> Watching you shit on your principles would have been worth every fucking penny. Fuck you. Find the guy you off your white horse and down here in the mud. I shouldn't have pointed at the kids. Let's play in the mud. You're right. I pointed at the kids. Figured it'd stir you all up. I didn't imagine for a moment the kids would start dying. Uh. Oh no. Oh, God dang it. Oh, oh my God, that one got me, man. Oh. Whoa, that one got me. Damn it. No one died for your life, so don't carry that. His one had nothing to do with the other. You can let that go. And the mind of guilt. It's full of scorpions, and I wouldn't wish their sting on anyone. It's what this episode is all about, with a telltale heart. Guilt. It'll change everything. You could track how many prescriptions of your drugs are being written. Customize your sales force. Annihilate the competition. I don't much love computers. Well, I, you know, I'm interested. Not many men want to listen to me talk about tech for half an hour. Oh, I doubt that. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. How do you take your morning coffee? That's top of mind for me right now. In solitude. Huh. So, this computer... Was that a pickup line right there? That was stupid. I mean, you could be doing more sitting at that desk outside my door in one day than you ever could on your own. Look, you think you're the first person to walk in here with a computer infrastructure pitch? I'm not sure why you're talking to me this way. Well, take a guess, sweetheart. You're a pretty smart girl. Mm. Smart girls only sexy until you realize they don't want to f you and then they're competition. And what do you do with competition? You take them down a peg. I just had a very interesting conversation with Roderick Usher a few days ago, and now suddenly his sister's in my office. Computer thing that would require me to what? Computer has all our records, right? sensitive company papers that my brother was just talking about out of the basement and computerized them for you. So you figured you'd humiliate me? No, 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 no. I don't want to humiliate you. You do realize the entire company knows about you, right? Longfellow knocks up his secretary. <sighs> Such a scandal. I was here, you know. I knew your mother, and she was a full-service secretary. Until her brain rotted. Until she killed a great man. And it must have been so tough for you growing up, huh? I don't know why he didn't just claim you he was heirs. Here you both are. 
work in the mail room. I don't need nor want to humiliate you. You're doing fine on your own. But I you just did too, you know? So don't misread me here, Madeline. I'm actually on your side, you and Roderick. I'm giving him a hand up, and I can do the same for you. It just has to make sense. So just don't, and this is important, don't f with me, Madeline. Either of you. F me. Well, that's fine. Hell, you'll climb that ladder fast. F me anytime you want. But don't you ever f with me, Madeline. I get you. That's disgusting. That's that was a uh, that was a really good scene from both of them. You could really see their acting chops there. You did a really good job doing being a douchebag, and you could just see her kind of cracking just slightly, just with the the quick blinks that she would be doing. You know, like, like that. What a fine little touch on on her performance in that scene, and even the gritted teeth at the end when she said "I get you." Awesome scene. Him even sitting the way he was in that aggressive dominant posture. Very douche move, and he pulled it off well. I don't understand why you went in there in the first place to look him in the eye. And it's not much. Testosterone, hubris, aftershave. I mean, shit. What if he was smart? He's smart, all right. Don't misjudge him. He's ah. misjudged you. Don't make the same mistake. He's underestimated you. That's a gift. He sees you as formidable. He locks down, closes ranks, shuts the doors. Those records still exist in a hard copy in the basement. Best time to destroy them will be during construction. They can get lost in the move to the new campus. That gives us our clock, too. I don't like this. I'm sorry. I don't. This is dangerous. And once we do this next part, there is no going back. Oh, well, we're doing it. What is it? What are they going to do? And this... This is from Leo's phone. Oh, wow. She looks so different in that picture than when he had it on his phone. Leo jumped off a balcony. Julius saw it. No one in the room with Cammie and... I thought it through again and again, and I can't deny it. She remembers. You know her, too. The New bar. Year's Eve, 1980. Don't tell me you don't remember. Arthur, please leave us. No, he stays. You just mentioned New Year's in front of another person. We don't have many rules, Mads, but that one's yours. You're saying that imaginary bartender that you dreamed up 40 years ago is back. Maybe I'm saying, did you happen to, I don't know, fuck that pretty bartender? Now you've got another air running around and maybe this one's psychotic. Tell me everything. And maybe this one is crazy and wants to be first in line. Well, no. I assume I'm authorized to approach these negotiations from a hostile posture. I'll return with a receipt. Her eyes, Arthur. The receipt. Monsters, man. It could be another child. Carla Gugino's too old for 1980 to 2023 to be. It's about being the first. That's where I get scared. Just because it's all happening so fast. If I could talk to Dr. Ruiz. I'm sorry. What's more important to you, being famous or saving lives? Wow. You've always dreamed about one of those, not so much the other. Oh, wow. Excuse me? Dr. Ruiz, she's supposed to be performing my surgery and I haven't gotten to talk to her yet. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, do you hear that? Hear what? Dr. Ruiz, of course she is she's performing the surgery no she's not do you know the term operant conditioning it's what a horse has that lets them know a rider might be nervous or hesitant not fear exactly but animals learn real quick to avoid that person so out of touch with your human side can't even listen to anything outside your own head do have dr ruiz give me a call man that was great. Holy crap. She's getting Leo'd here. She's getting napoleon in this episode. You've reached Alexandra Ruiz. Leave a message. You have to call me back. I am. I'm, I'm losing it. Please. Like, she'll do the trial if you will. This all hinges on you. I love 
I will give you anything you want. What? I still feel like she killed her. So I can get so far. You built it so fast. Better look good. It cost enough. Are there gonna be reporters? Probably. Let's talk to Pim. He'll tell you what to say. That feels so gross. Come here. You understand who we are in the world, don't you? We're like royalty. People fear that. They envy that. They want to tear it down. They want to tear us down. Someone once mailed me a bullet with my name etched in the casing. Now, if you could see the paper trail of shit that Pim has protected this family from over the years. So, if he tells you to say something, you say it. Okay. I'm sorry. What would they do without him, too? You can't trust people. Not anyone. Hell, look at your own mother. Who looked us in the eyes and said that she was going out with her girlfriends that night. I'm so glad mom was coming home so she can heal. So we can all start to heal. Foreshadowing what he's gonna do. We've almost got her. I get it now. I was asking earlier why he wants her to get home. He wants to get her alone, man. Ma'am? Who are you talking to? Candy? What, do you have a date out here? Keep it down, I'm trying to work. Ma'am, I have not talked to anyone. Jesus, Tim, oh, did you just fall asleep it. in mid-sentence? No! We're not postponing the launch. With everything that's happened, you need a break. I haven't seen you sleep in like, I mean, it's been a fucking long time, Tammy. Like, horror movie long. That's why you're in front of the camera and not me, right? Do it for me, please, as a favor. For you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bill. Just who do you think you are in this? You bring that army of fitness fuckers with you. You are a face. You're not a mouthpiece. Just smile and shut the fuck up. Okay, then. You can't sell health unless you look healthy. If you try to tell me what to do with my business when we're goddamn done. I have hand selected every single aspect of this company, including you, Bill. Hey now. You were chosen. You headhunted. Baby, we met at VidCon. You are just trying to hurt me. Oh no, honey, it's true. You fit the brand. They're all showing their faces, man. Their true faces. Never forget, I can easily replace you. Wow. I mean, there is no gold bug without me, Tammy. It is just a lowly ass box of cosmetics. Fucking stop it! What the f you are f***ing that whore behind the my f*** you talking about? You think I'm stupid? in bodyguard out there saw you two taking a walk in the park this afternoon that was you you psycho i was walking with you some fucking knockoff off brand me it is pathetic you Just are a it. product you are a fucking mascot i own the built name now so you are an asset if you fuck me on this launch i will fuck a tread through you jesus man the goddamn hookers that was always you and i always fucking hated it every minute of it you done i walk out that door and i'm not coming back fucking great He's losing it man ah uh, very similar to victorine what happened to her and dr grease it's impossible Bullshit. hey never touched her Hey. What the Mads did, anyway, the truth. It's impossible anyway, isn't it? Fuck you, too. Okay, yeah. They're bringing my... Maybe just a psycho bastard, like she said. Maybe it's nothing. Bringing back, you know, the thoughts I said that went out the door? They're coming back in the door. Like dementia's a nasty little bitch. If all this crazy bullshit is right, then maybe I know how to stop it. You dare me? I'll take them five at a time. You'll go to sleep on the chair. Won't feel a thing. Just drift. Of course, not the best look for your product. 
This Kopesh was in someone's belly circa 2000 BCE. Ugh. Ugh. This go out like a warrior. An ancient Egypt. It takes 10 seconds to fall 70 floors. It's no time at all. You can do 10 seconds. Wow, dude. There's a wind in your hair. Oh, this is crazy. Ten seconds. You save them all. Save them. Oh. So by dying, he thinks he'd save them. So is it a spirit? Is she a spirit after them? His family, because of something him and Madeline did. Dad. Will you turn it down? What are you doing here? Well, I just, I, well, I think we should talk if that's okay. Oh, she had the music up to drown out the sound of the heart. I'll get to the point. I'm sorry. You and your brothers and your sisters, I, I always thought of you as a pride of lions. A young lioness, she has to grapple with her siblings before she goes off to hunt, right? I want to apologize. The music is still too loud. Turning you kids against one another. I wanted to make you stronger. I was wrong. And your work, I may need your work more than you know. I am not strong. I am. Is she gonna tell him now? be a matter of, I'm sorry, Vic, can you just turn the music off? I'm trying to talk with I him. I was wondering if he was gonna say something. Very much rather not. It's too loud. If I turn it off, oh, look, I'll show you. Maybe you can, you can help me fix it. Because people keep telling me they, they can't hear it. Yeah, I hear it. He was saying about my work. What is that? I your support, it means so much to me. I think it works. It does work. What? She's imagining that. She did kill her, man. You're not going to tell anyone! Of course I'm gonna tell. <laughs> I knew it. Oh god! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just... I just... I just wanted to... Oh, that's horrible. Okay, wait, 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 hang on. Okay, just, just, just... Oh my gosh, man. She's not gonna dial. I knew it. I knew it. Uh, okay in there, Miss Usher? Uh, uh, sure everything. Have you never heard a woman getting eaten out before? Uh, F off your pub, I'll have you replaced with someone less cringe. Wow. This was an accident, you hear me? I mean, you just, you just said you were gonna tell out. You didn't mean that, did you? Dude, this is like disturbing. No, 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 Ali. I knew it, man. What the f is that noise? Smell. What is? How does he hear it? Wait! Oh God! She used it. Dad. She used it on her. I remember now. Oh my God, dude! Oh my God! There you are. See, I've been calling you and calling. Who did that time with me? Oh, I'm sorry, Dad. She's. What the f? You see, you see, it works. You're, uh. You're insane. You're, you're fully funded. But let's just get out of here. We'll get the paperwork started. No, as long as she apologizes. Well, she's, she's quite dead, isn't she? Because that would explain it, wouldn't it? Oh my god, dude. I'm so sorry. I'm just. 
I couldn't fix it. No, no. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You know, I wish you just jumped. I wouldn't have to do this. That's not, that's not her. Who am I kidding? Of course I would. Because the work is everything. Success is everything. <gasps> and if we're going to succeed, we just need a better heart. She about to turn it on herself? Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, man. Daddy. Uh. Uh. Whoa. That one was gruesome, man. You can hear the little flies moving around too. Whoa. I don't even know what to say right after seeing that. I have to just sit here for a second. Okay. That I not what I expected to see there in the end. I knew she killed her. I just had that you didn't show it, but I knew it, because that's what happens in the short story, too. But I thought she was just going to be uh, imagining the ghost of her, and never had I thought we'd see something like that, where she just completely lost it, and, you know, she used tried to use the device on her. That is... Oh my god, that's crazy, dude. And the fact that uh, her dad saw that, I didn't expect that either. It, it didn't click for me until the end there when he was like, you know, what the F is that noise? I was like, how could he possibly hear it? And that's when I put it together. But, whoa. You know, um, something else really cool, too, with that ending is the, the color change there, man. That was so cool. I know what that's uh, an ode to. Hold on. She's not being a team player, but you see, you see it works. This change in color right now? You're up. Uh... Look at that. You fully funded this. Dude, that change in color. That's so genius for setting the mood. And they do it so slow. You you know it's happening, but it goes at a, such a slow pace. Almost don't realize it. Well, that is something from the movie Creep Show. They do that. That super off-putting red color in shots. It has to be an ode to that. Because they used it in Cre Creep Show. That's from the 80s. It looks obviously fake. But, tw you know, 2023 when this was made... Uh, Flanagan found a way to make it look, it looks good, you know what I mean? It doesn't look cheesy. In Creepshow, that's like more slapstick horror, obviously fake, but this, Flanagan really pulled it off to make that color tone work, you know, even though it should look ridiculous. I found that so cool, man. Really helps set the mood of how horrifying this scene is. God, this one, man. This might be my favorite episode, and it's also like the most disturbing. So far, we also saw a lot of drama. A lot of good at performances in this one, man. A lot of like uh, 1v1 scenes with like uh, Madeline and what's his name? Griswold. Uh, and then with uh, Victorine and Ruiz and uh, Tam and, and that other, what's his name? I can't remember, man. The built dude. A lot of great performances, getting to see people kind of go slowly nuts. We're, all, we're even seeing Freddy kind of losing it too, man. Although, you know, he always seemed kind of like a dopey guy. Never was really, like, I don't know, it just kind of seemed like an airhead. Yeah, he's got revenge on his mind now. So, I guess we'll see what happens there. But, wow, what an episode this was. This was uh, my favorite episode so far. Let's go ahead and jump into the next one, which is Goldbug. Oh, Tam is next then. It's also weird because I don't feel bad for any of them when they die, you know? It's just like, yep, you're a monster and now you're gone. Oh, and that's kind of cool. The way this episode started, almost like she's opening the curtain. Like this is her, you know what I mean? Her portion of the play. That's cool. Also, I was realizing this looks a lot like uh, Leo's closet. Hey, she's in there. Hmm. What the? What was that? So she like sleepwalking or something? She loses track of what she's doing? Like she's split personality or something. What the? Whoa. Dude. Welcome all and thanks for coming. I am not Bill T. Wilson. 
Tamerlane Usher came up with a gold bug lifestyle to change the f***ing. Oh my god. Whoa. She's really losing it. Oh gosh. Hello? Bill? I don't like this, man. This feels like this could be one of the most terrifying episodes so far. Hey! Oh no. <laughs> I don't like this. There's a lot of mirrors in this house too and they, I hate them. Hey! Dude. Why are those mirrors doing that? You see how it's like- There is a f***ing bodyguard outside! Oh god. I hate this camera work. Freaking scary. That's the product? The box of cosmetics or whatever? God! Oh. I don't even know what the hell that was. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Tamerlane, you've got to sleep. Oh, man. That was terrifying, dude. No music. That's the way to scare people. Jesus. You know, they say the most terrifying thing about horror and movies and shows and stuff is the what you make up in your own mind. You know what I mean? Just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. Wondering, you know, the worst horrors I'd see when the cameras would turn. Leo chasing a cat alone in his loft. Tamerlan Usher alone in her bed. I'm sorry, am I boring you? No, just... Uh... There's no way you witnessed these events. This is what happened. How could you know that? I know because they told me. Before they died? No, not before. Oh. Oh, isn't it beautiful? It's fit for a queen. Queen Tusrit, actually. Giant sapphires were placed in Tusrit's head when she was mummified. To give her power and sight in the afterlife. That's how you set off a goddess. What? What did he just do? Those priceless sapphires are a birthday gift for my sister. I reached through time and ripped the eyes out of a goddess. Does that make me a god? Who's he talking to? Oh, the spirits are there. Oh, God. I'm assuming this is after he left Tamerlane's? Jesus Christ. I mean, Victorine's, not Tamerlane's. Are okay? Ben told me to come straight here. It's not what I think it is. It's fortunate a property. I couldn't leave it for the police. I can't believe it. I can't believe she got to know. The guard was 30 feet away. There's no one in there. I she saw didn't get to him. Eyes. She did it herself. No one helped her with a girlfriend either. That much was clear. Four deaths in a row is not a coincidence. We are under attack. Remember, Vic had a board seat. Oh, now you're listening. Yes. Has it not occurred to you that if these coincidences keep happening... They could be voted out. That woman from the bar, if we don't stop her right fucking now, you won't have a family left. You won't have a company either. That's something we can work with, at least. I'll have my hand around the throat of every board member by lunch. I'm taking the ward of the shareholders. The woman, Roderick. The board, Madeline. I mean, I get that, but she, she's a supernatural force, Gugino. She's not, like, a person. So, yeah, I could see that being um, a theory of why she's doing it, but it seems like it's about more than that. You know what I mean? Like, this thing wants their lives. It doesn't care about pushing them out of control of Fortunato. Roddy? Dude, is it just me or would I would not want to live in a place this like fancy, schmancy? You know what I mean? It doesn't feel natural. Hey, old man, it's me. You didn't come home last night and just. I don't love that. Call me. The hell? Jeez, that's a lot. She didn't know. Sources are reporting that Ruiz had been dead potentially hours before Lafricade took her own life. Oh my god. Dad. An outpouring of support it? by the couple's friends. 
Jesus. I guess we'll have to go to another funeral. Dad, are we safe? You're safe. You you have a bodyguard at school. Well, that's an insane response. She was a very ambitious woman. Something like this was bound to happen. Your Aunt Victorine, your Uncle Leo, your Aunt Camille, your Uncle Perry, none of them were right. They're not completely ushers either. What a screwed up response. Did you hear that? Tragedy. Victorine is gone. She took Ali with her, but it just shows to go you. You can never really know anyone. Shows to go you. Do you, honey? Say goodbye to mommy, it's time to get you to school. I want to stay with her. No, because I want to totally kill her. Are the doctors coming? The specialist you talked about? Soon. Damn, I tried calling. I wanted to make sure that, I mean, Vic. Of course I've heard about Vic. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. That doesn't mean that I need anything from you. I don't. In lieu of flowers, please leave your key. Oh, so you're really sticking to that? I think I've been pretty clear. Let's set our shit aside for just a minute and take stock of what has happened. I know you think you're tougher than all this, but you're not, and you have not been okay for a while now. I am here with you, and I love you. I don't. Can we put this out of its misery, please? What did I do that was so egregious? Can you even tell me that? I, tried to, I stood up for myself. That was the problem. All you've ever cared about is our brand. Our brand? Read your prenup bill. You leave with the clothes on your back, if that. I'm sorry. I'm just having a really hard time. And this thing, this gold bug, it's different than anything else that my family has ever done. And it is more important now than ever that the- I feel like he's not gonna be there. That we're more than just Fortunato. We're not just pill pushers. And the Usher name is more than just Roderick and Madeline. And I'm scared of Bill. I knew it. Was he there at some point or was she imagined? Oh no, he just left. Okay. He just walked away. He was done after she said that. Oh, my favorite girl. I'm so sorry, Grandpa. I just wanted to make sure you were okay. Everybody's... Why is this happening? Life is insane. And the sooner you understand that, the better off you'll be. The world might not be safe, but listen to me. I won't let anything happen to you. I'm not worried about me. I'm worried, worried about, about my, my family. Yeah, that too. Well, sometimes things are just off. Reality's not what it used to be. All that we see is but a dream within a dream. For example, do you see them too? Daydreams, because I'm not sleeping at night, but that's that's an edge. Wow. Grandpa, are you okay? I am. I'm fine. I'm just. It's been quite a week. Sergeant, we have to listen to this asshole. What has he got to be thinking too? You know, so you got to be thinking like I could be one of these ones who's dead. If you find anything relevant to our case on those devices, you'll turn it in. You telling me those have f all to do with proprietary Fortunato sh See something of interest, Mr. Pym? Wow. Stay out of the other rooms. Each one that goes, it's like they're losing power. Like, I feel like even Pim, his bark gets a little bit weaker each one that goes. Dad, are you here? Hey there. Oh, fuck. Fuck. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Um, no thank you. Have you seen my father? Where is he? Crystal, you know, his secretary. She said he was okay, not to worry. He doesn't really talk to me most of the time. You ever been alone in this house? It sucks. Oh. Makes me feel small, I guess. <laughs> no one ever sees me here. I'm rambling, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about Victorine. All of it. All this madness. I thought it's when people come together, but we've never been further apart. I'm sorry that he doesn't answer his phone. It's not you, it's all of us. It always has been. I know. I thought she was going to say something snarky. Just tell him I came by if you 
Talk to him before I do. The most human and normal she's ever been. I need something that will impress the board, and I need it now. They love the pills, but they love an algorithm even more. If we can crack consciousness mapping, it's about living for f***ing ever. That's a project that involves his granddaughter, right? Things are escalating. How so? I found a patient file at Vicks. It was her. Her? There was an address on the file. I'm here now. You are absolutely correct. This is intentional. And this woman knows we are trying to find her. What is it? Oh. Here. Whoa. Did he go inside? No, oh, yes, he did. And did he find her? How much do you know about Arthur Pym? You remember the Trans Globe Expedition, 79 to 82, circumnavigated the globe, UK to the South Pole, to the North Pole, and home again? Unexplored crevasse fields in Antarctica, the Northwest Passage. I remember it, Roger. Arthur was there. Wow. He put law school on hold to elbow his way onto the expedition, and he saw the fucking world. While you and I were dicking around, and we were digging in the basement of Fortunato. That reminds me, um, speaking of the Northwest Passage, if you guys have not seen the show uh, The Terror, season one, you gotta watch that. It's so good, man. Uh, horror as well. But yeah, check that out. The things he saw, and he'll talk about them too. To a point. Always stops telling it as he gets to the North Pole. I like to think he killed someone. I like to think he's eaten human flesh. <laughs> he told one of my kids that the Earth was hollow. We didn't send a private investigator to find that woman. We didn't send the police. We didn't send a hitman. We didn't send a mercenary. We sent Arthur Gordon Pym. Of course he found her. Hmm. But not that day. Funny you mentioned going through the basement of Fortunato. That's why I remember seeing the expedition in a way. I remember it well because I was unemployed, thanks to you. Oh, don't be bitter, Augie. At this point, isn't it all just water under the- Oh, God dang! Oh, why? Oh. This is Tam now. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, who needs that heart device when you could just have this jump scare? Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, man. <sighs> that one got me so good. Thanks for doing this. It's risky. Nice transition there. What happens if he gets caught? I hate to say it, it kind of depends on what he gives us. You have to take him down. If we don't kill him, he'll kill us both. You know that. He will go down. Tell me again, what do you need specifically? Patient records, sure, but I'm more interested in the consent for care forms. And obviously anything that has your signature on it that you know you didn't sign. There's gonna be a lot down there. It could take me hours to copy everything. I'm putting my neck out there. My neck's right next to yours. We can't do this. You'll be breaking the law. We're just making copies of their crimes. And then why you testify? Yes. Roderick, this is risking everything we have. Tell me, it's not just a vendetta against your awful boss. She wanted to do the right thing earlier. I'll back you up, just tell me. This is worth the risk. Then I'm proud of you. So that was the basement that he's always hanging out in. Roderick. I was wondering what that room was. Someone is in the wall in that basement. Hello? Oh, is it gonna be Roderick in there? He's gonna get caught. Oh no! Don't tell me he hurts this dude. Wow. 
boy. Splinter Cell, man. Splinter Cell stuff here. I like that shot. That's really cool. Doesn't make any sense. Look, you can't deny your own eyes. I, I watched Vic commit suicide with my own eyes. There was no one else in the apartment. Look at the f***ing files. She was there at every turn. What do we have on this woman? What did she do to them? I don't know. Yet. I tracked down that bar you mentioned, Madeline. That Only picture. the location you gave me isn't a bar. It was never a bar. It's been vacant since 1975. I accounted for every female bartender at every bar that fit that criteria, and nothing. Comb the internet massive image search in conjunction with our facial recognition. Oh, wait, that's... David Koch, seven years ago. One of the Koch brothers? For the toxic twins. We always got along with those f nuts. And Zucky, too. What? That's Gina. Gina Reinhardt, mining magnate. Climate denial, Dundee. She's a great Oh, singer. God. Kavanaugh. These were taken in 2011. McConnell. She stalks important people. I don't know who they were. What is this? How could she be around this? This is from the 80s. Yeah. Gettys. Freaking Trump. That's Prescott Bush, 1944. She's supernatural. Rockefellers. Doheny. Vanderbilts. And this one. Is she the devil? That's John Francis Queenie. He founded Monsanto. Oh, God. This is bullshit. Roderick. She knows we're looking for it's a prank. Roderick, stop it. I could make a hundred photos just like that. Remember what happened that night. Remember what she said. We were out of our minds that night, Madeline. Maybe. If I may, metadata confirms these images have been online for years. They wanted us to have this exact conversation. Or it is exactly what it looks like. This is the most I've heard uh, Pim speak. Oh, what is this? Is she the devil? Kind of like granting dark wishes or something. Hey, pitting the pendulum. That's cool that they had uh, video footage of that in here. Hey. Now we're talking. Hey. Yeah, literally now we're talking. Oh, show showing Netflix. Gerald's game. Another ode to Flanagan there. She's talking. What? We gotta tell the doctor. Ah, uh, we sure do. Did the doctor come today? Not today. Well, I haven't seen anybody. Well, like you said, she's doing so much better now, so they come when they're needed. Mm-hmm. Listen, I don't want you to worry about doctors and specialists and whatever. And who better to take care of her than us, right? Yeah, I just thought because you said about the specialist. Don't you worry about it. She needs to call him on her own. I can't imagine how you must be feeling. I'm pretty good, sweetie. You understand that you're perfectly safe, right? I know the families, they're, they're going crazy, self-destructing all over the place. But you're going to be OK. I'll make sure of it. Yes! Nice shot. Oh, man. Is that still the same stuff from Leo? I think it's neat that you can talk again. Don't get me wrong. It's just, what's the point? Because if you're talking, what you're are lying. You doing? We can do without the lies, Maury. <gasps> oh, no. How long were you f***ing him? <sighs> Enough. Okay? Enough. No. <gasps> oh, dude. 15 cc's lasted, what, about six hours last time? This stuff is the real deal. He's trying to keep her comatose? You're aware the whole time, right? I mean, it's important that you're aware. <laughs> That's the only stuff I know that can do that this well. Let's see how long this dose lasts, huh? Why? What is he doing? I nearly 
I spat out my tea when your secretary told me where you were. What are you doing down here anyway? Listening. Gold bug is starting. You should be there, if not for her, for the company we are drowning. It's a waste of time. Why the hell is she doing it today, anyway? Well, because she has to. Why? She seems more interested in pulling this family out of its nosedive, and you should back her up. Yeah, they don't know enough about each kid. They're all struggling, man, especially her. Do you hear that? Hear what? Bells. Mm. Shut your mouth, get your shit together. The f is wrong with you? My heart is dying, my brain is dying. I don't know for a fact if you're even here right now. Your daughter needs you. She's fine. She's surrounded. How many people are up there anyway? A hundred? I wonder if Madeline knows if someone's in there, or if only Roderick knows. She has to know, right? Because she said, I was shocked when your secretary told me where you were. Oh, that's enough caffeine. You are shaking already. You've been ready for this your whole life. And look at you. This is important for our company. And we need something like Goldberg, something that could be positive. It's so important. Then where is Dad? Where's Bill? Men are as stupid as they are simple. Wait, you know where Bill is? You ran him off. I miss him. You won't, darling. I promise you that, because whatever it is you think you miss, you can get it anywhere. I know. You're right. Nine first husbands. I thought I missed him, but it was just his temporary insanity. He wouldn't shut up about kids. Oh, why do they always want you to have kids? And when they figure out they're gonna die, all they wanna do is f You ready? Of course she is. That's funny, because there could be guys having the same conversation about women. Break both legs. Kind of like the most emotion I've seen from Madeline so far. A, a bit into her personal, you know, opinions and about her past. <laughs> to introduce the founder of Goldbug, wow. Tamerlane Usher. Oh my gosh. Dude. Thank you so much. What? I am so grateful. Goldbug is the height of opulence. What are you doing here? Oh no, she's flipping. Mmm. That face. <laughs> Man, from Juno. I mean, what the f are we doing here, right? Uh, well, let me tell you, we... We are here to change lives, and that is what the f we are doing here. <laughs> barely saved that one, just barely. Me the first high-end beauty, fitness, and health lifestyle brand. It's not just Goop or Peloton. It is a lifestyle. <laughs> Let's start with our gold bug boxes, the first tier. Each box is custom built by... I think we see some screwed up images here. A gold bug subscription is different from anything else on the market. I fail to see how this whole gold bug thing stacks up compared to a giant pharmaceutical company. Because no two pe people oh. are the same. There's candy. I, I agree. Mm. Yeah, Juno's trying to help her. Items found in our gold bug boxes are not generally available to the American public. In fact, this gold bug is just for me. It is tailored to my lifestyle. Oh gosh, what's in it? Oh. French energy oil made with black diamond truffle. French energy oil made with black diamond truffle. Creme de lune made with green caviar algae and South Sea pearls. Oh man. What are you doing? She gonna save it again? Just super proud of you. Oh, she thinks she's talking to her. You know what? I'm 
That's enough about me. Let's talk about you. Look under your assigned seats and find what we have built for you. Watch. Mine's full of poo. <laughs> Percent organic. Oh my gosh, man. Okay, tonight is about positive reinforcement. Oh no. I want you to lick her armpits and then eat her out. What? She's imagining this. She's imagining this. Lick her asshole while she reads a book or answers. Turn it off! But Bummy is not choked. Dude, everyone in this family is going nuts, man. Oh, no! Oh! I'm sorry. I didn't... Oh my god! Tamerlane Asher is over. Oh my god, is she even alive from that? I am right here! Whoa. Whoa. That's the first time we've seen something like that happen. Something like tangible with her being supernatural. That's the first time. Oh boy. What a moment, man. I don't even know if Juno's alive. Imagine taking a freaking microphone stand like that to the face. Hello? Oh no. It, w it was awful. I, I, I don't know what happened. I, I am so sorry. Oh no. <laughs> oh. You can call him back. You still got time. Bill, I'm sorry. This is how she's gonna end up hurting herself. Like when we saw what happened to her when she was a ghost, when she burst through the glass behind Roderick. Man ate a lot of ass on your behalf. Maybe just tell him you're sorry. Man ate a lot of ass on your behalf. It'd be so much easier, wouldn't it? Yeah, this is how it's gonna happen. I mean, you absorbed your twin in the womb. That's fing hardcore. Maybe I'm her. Maybe I've been living all this time shoved to a dark corner of her skull. And I've spent 40 years growing tiny little tendrils into your brain. Oh, I really appreciate the surround on this. It's really capturing the direction of her voice. What do you want? What I want is for you to relax. Mmm. <laughs> I mean it. Oh gosh. You keep swinging away like that, you're only hurting yourself. You are so tough. Then why are you so fing scared of me? Tammy. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> no one can take being shot down, scorned. Like you do to yourself. <laughs> Oh. It's your last chance to be perfectly still. Ooh. Ow, ow, ow. You might not believe me, but this part Ew. has nothing to do with you. I've, I've f***ed it all up. I just... I just want... <sighs> Some sleep. Oh no! Oh gosh, this is how she gets messed up. Oh my gosh, dude. I don't even know if I want to see this, man. Oh, here comes the glass. Whoa! Oh my god, dude. Uh, uh, oh, every, the end of every episode is just like you're speechless. These deaths. These are some wild deaths, dude. Oh my gosh. Um, I, I, two, I mean, kind of all of these episodes, but two in a row now. Where more than the other ones, I just, I need a moment. I just, I need a second. Um... That was insane, dude. That was... 
That was so crazy. And it's so creative from Flanagan to do it this way. Like who, when have you ever seen something like that in a movie? In one of the earlier episodes, I, I was noticing a bunch of mirrors in her house. And I thought that was kind of weird, but I just shelved it. Now I see why. Because, you know, they were, uh, for her death tale here, they were using a lot of mirrors. I'm not really quite sure though, exactly how. I don't even really know her name yet. I keep calling her by her actual name, Carla Gugino. I don't know how exactly how she was messing with her like i get that she is a spirit or whatever she is and she's kind of psychologically messing with her but what was going on with her um blacking out was carla gugino taking over her body like a split personality in those moments where she would just black out or or what it i feel like i didn't get enough answers on that but um yeah, this show, man. I absolutely love this show. Quite unique from the other uh, Flanagan shows, too. And uh, I like how there's odes, uh, in, you know, to past horror things in, you know, in each episode. Not only is this based off Edgar Allan Poe stuff, but, you know, it was cool that he had the little bit about Gerald's game in there. Um, you know, his own movie. Stephen King as well. And... Um, Kind of cool that they actually had that footage from that Pit in the Pendulum Edgar Allan Poe movie, too. So that's cool. Um, anyway, what else can I say about all of this so far? We, we only have two more episodes left, and that's going to be for another night because it's pretty late. And I have to work tomorrow. So, um, yeah, I feel uh, that if you had to find a theme in all of this so far, uh, definitely guilt. Guilt is a major theme in this, and I guess, you know, the Telltale Heart was kind of like the best example of guilt so far, but yeah, Roderick, you know, we haven't seen exactly what happened that night, uh, 1980 or whatever, New Year's, but it seems like a lot of his issues stem from guilt from that night, Madeline too, and you know, I was saying before, I feel like they killed Gugino and put her in the wall. But that can't be because she's like a, the devil or something. So someone is in that wall. I just don't know who now, you know? Yeah, what an amazing show. I uh, I keep thinking about it too when, when I, I have more episodes to watch. Uh, you know, like I miss watching this when I can't watch it. And now we only have two more episodes left. So next video, next time I sit down and watch this, it's going to be, that's it. It's going to be the end of it. Which, by the way, I think this was like Flanagan's last show on the contract with Netflix. And I think he has a contract with Amazon Prime now. So uh, I guess we'll see what else he's going to be doing in the uh, the realm of shows over there. But yeah, I'm, I'm loving this ride so far. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. But if you're still here, as always, thank you for taking the time out of your day to hang out with me and watch this with me. I hope you got something out of this. If you have any other shows or movies you want me to check out, please let me know in the comments, and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.